welcome back to the channel. If you guys don't know, every $1 that you guys spend on the Ledger's Media site is one entry in to win this STI. And today, I thought we'd spoil the car a little bit. So today, guys, we are here at Meguiar's HQ. And as you guys know, you've probably seen in all the STI videos that Meguiar's has been at the beginning of the video. And that's because they actually sponsored this entire build. And we are very excited to have Meguiar's on board so that this thing is nice and clean for whoever wins it. And today, we're actually doing a full polish. I think we're gonna be clay barring and washing this thing and kind of like an initial polish before we get this away and at the end of the build we're actually be doing a full detail with Meguiar's and giving you guys a little care package for them for whoever wins this car. It's gonna be awesome and I think we're gonna be starting with a little wash here obviously and we actually just took off the roof rack and I'm kind of digging the no roof rack look. What do you guys think? We have to take it off for the polish and I think it looks way better without the roof rack but let me know what you guys think. We'll keep them just in case but yeah we're gonna be starting off with a nice little wash. It's been a while but look who we got back. We have Mike from Meguiar's here. Mike, what's the plan today? What are we doing? Well, we're going to give the vehicle just a really good cleanup and kind of phase one of a, let's call it the ultimate detail. So today we're going to wash it, decon it, clay it, probably remove any isolated scratches or marks on it, clean the barrels, clean the wheels, go over the interior, vacuum it, just kind of give it a good once through. Then it's going to come back a secondary time and we'll give it that final, it's let's call it, sweet. you know, really put that icing on the cake before it goes away. Yes, okay? let's do it, Mike. Absolutely. Thank you. Game on. So we also have Nick helping us today. Nick, yeah. What is step one for today? Well, we're gonna go ahead and just take care of the wheels and the tires and like get all the crud out of the wheel wells first before we wet the whole car. So we'll go ahead and do that right now. That way we're not trying to, you know, keep the car wet the whole time and have sure. to worry about water spots on the paint or anything. Absolutely, so, so what are we yeah. using today? We're gonna use our ultimate all wheel cleaner. Um, really great wheel cleaner, safe for any wheel. That's one thing about um, different wheel cleaners out there. You always wanna be careful what you're selecting with, with um, a lot of them, even ours, but this one is uh, is truly safe for any wheel or like any sensitive brake component. Pre-rinse the wheel, which we typically do not with this product. Um, we did that to just cool it down Sweet. a little bit. So And so the cool thing about today too is, Nick, is that uh, everybody can buy these products over the shelf, right? So yeah. what we're using today for the detail, you guys can actually buy as well. So I yep. think that's really cool for all the viewers to for be sure. able to like do exactly what we're doing today at the HQ. Yeah, any major auto parts store, um, anywhere you can find our product, you know? So Sweet, what's for yep. send it. Yeah, so now we're gonna go ahead and uh, rinse and then use our ultimate snow foam kind of like as a touchless wash. Typically this is used more as like a maintenance wash like after you've full detailed the car and everything, but in this situation, we're gonna use it to just help loosen up some of that grime. And then we're gonna go ahead and iron decontaminate the paint as well, which we'll, we'll explain Sounds in a couple fancy. minutes, yeah. I've literally left this car as dirty as possible waiting for this moment, so this is gonna be so satisfying. Let's do it. Right now we'll just kind of be the pre-wash with the snow foam and then we'll rinse this off. We're gonna do like a quick dry and then the next products are wheel and paint iron decon and it and it basically pulls out any embedded iron contaminants in the paint. It can they can be in the air from all sorts of sources like brakes or like if you know trains, any like metal on metal. It's pretty pretty common. So clay bar, which a lot of people are familiar with and you've used with us and stuff before, can sometimes get them out, but sometimes they're pretty a little bit more difficult and embedded. So this is a spray like chemical that pulls them out a lot easier so uh, it's pretty fun to use too because it turns purple when it reacts with the iron so you actually be able to see it work oh yeah big cool. time we should we should get a lot of people okay. i'm thinking so <laughs> Good stuff. 
This is the good stuff. It stinks. That's one. That's one thing about it is that uh, it smells really foul, but it just yeah. is a direct relation in the chemistry and like the level of actives in it. it works really well. So um, we'll see what we can do here. So that's super cool about this product. You can actually see it working. So much purple on the hood here, or the roof. That's pretty awesome. Let's check out the hood. Yep, tons of purple here too. That went really well. That's gonna help us out um, for one, once we get in the studio and, and clay bar. It'll be way quicker to, to clay. So happy with that. Um, so now we'll do just a standard two bucket wash method just to make sure it's completely clean and we'll dry it and we'll, we'll get going. Let's send it. This white literally looks like a different color already. It, like it, it does, right? You notice that? Because yes. it pulls, it almost has like that, a yellow kind of hue to it. So it's a uh, huge difference already. And we've yeah. only washed it. Holy crap. This is like a whole different shade of white already. And they haven't even done anything crazy yet. Dude, it's, it's so nice. It looks amazing. Oh my, I don't know how much the camera can pick it up, but. It is like a deep, deep pearl white now. This is awesome. So now that they're done with the initial wash and all of that stuff, we're going to pull it into the detail room and actually get this thing clay barred and looking perfect. Hey guys, we're going to take a quick break in today's video to give a big thank you to today's video sponsor, Meguiar's. Today we're going to be taking a look at their Insane Shine Foam for tires. Meguiar's Ultimate Insane Shine Foam is developed for consumers who want a long-lasting high gloss shine with the convenience and cleaning power of a spray tire foam. The thick, active foam powers through dirt and road grime to clean tires and leave them with a dark, even shine. Premium gloss enhancers deliver an attention-grabbing high gloss shine, making Ultimate Insane Shine Foam the most high gloss tire foam Meguiar's currently has to offer. The synthetic polymer chemistry produces an amazing bond for a long lasting finish. This will lightly clean tires and leave them with a rich high gloss shine that lasts in a spray format that lets you simply spray and walk away. So if you guys are interested in Meguiar's new tire shine, I'm gonna go ahead and leave the link to this product down in the description box below so you guys can check it out. This is gonna be perfect because show season is just now starting. If you guys wanna keep your tires all nice and shiny, this is the product for you guys. So this will be the first link down in the description. Let's hop back into today's video. this now Nick it looks yeah. incredible what, yeah what it's gonna get to? even better so we're gonna go ahead and use a clay bar now which a lot of people have used which will remove the remaining of the the bonded contaminants right. that the way you can tell if your car um, oh, you can even hear it too. has yeah. those yeah when it's clean and dry just take your hand and if it feels a little bit rough and you can even hear that like you said um, yeah those are bonded contaminants and just it comes from all sorts of things in the environment. Um, anything can get your car dirty, it sits on your car, and then within a certain amount of time, it just bonds and sticks to the top of the paint and washing doesn't take it off. So that's why we chemically decontaminate it first to make this process a little easier. And now we'll use the, the clay bar. Sick, this yep. is gonna be awesome. I mean, like already, like I said, the, the white is a completely different color. And you can actually pick up like the pearl in this now, which is really cool too. Even over here where the lighting is a little bit better, I mean, look at all the pearl. That is awesome. And they haven't even really done anything. First media guest, by the way, in our new studio and here. It looks incredible. So we did a bunch of bunch of upgrades. So we're happy to happy to have you excited. Yes, this is gonna yeah. be sick. So let's get started. started here because that first phase as Nick was talking about is we're going to get rid of some of those soil marks and scratches. We're going to grab our 110 and our microfiber cutting disc and again we've talked about it before and a lot of you do it out there but it's vital to actually prime these microfiber discs before you get started and that's actually pretty easy. 
add a little extra product. Again, this is the first time. Get yourself your favorite spreader. You can use your fingers, and you're just gonna work that product into that pad so all those fibers are thoroughly covered. And then from then on out, you don't need to do it anymore. You add three small drops, and you're gonna go. Incredible, dude. So do you want to give us a quick walkthrough about what you guys just freaking put down here? Yeah, so as you were talking with Stoop, we tried a particular compound at first and it was a little bit sticky to get off the paint. So we actually used our M205 Ultra Finishing Polish, um, which has been out for quite a while. When you pair that product, I think Stoops was explaining with the right particular pad and use a particular technique for this condition of the car, it worked great to remove all of the swirls and scratches and defects, but still leave behind a really bright clarity pop and gloss Absolutely. in one step. Um, so that's what we did. It looks and it came out really good. I mean, they, yeah. The car actually looks white now and looks so mean in the front. I mean, the detail that pops with like the headlights being buffed and the paint that actually like gleams now. And you can actually see the pearl and the white, it's just a whole different shade of white it's a lot of a lot of people say like oh you can't really see much change on white you know like a lot of detailers yeah. it's super fun when you could li it yeah. literally looks like a brighter white so. it looks amazing it's like ice pearl white now it is great so now that you guys actually finished up the yeah. polishing part uh what's 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 next well what's i think last yeah i think right now because you were saying you're still gonna got some work to do this. Exactly. Exactly. it's gonna be you know shuffled around and then the garage yeah. so is worked on yeah so like i told you guys at the beginning this is just the initial polish we still have many things to do on this sti and before we give it away to one of you we're coming back here to do the final detail and the final polish yeah so with that in mind, um, we're just going to do a spray wax right now, our ultimate quick wax. Um, not necessarily like the longest lasting best we have right now, but it'll be good um, <clears throat> to give you some protection in the next like week, weeks or so you're working on it. And then when you come back, um, we'll do our hybrid paint coating on that. That is going to so be we'll freaking awesome, it. especially yep. for you guys. So we're going to go ahead and finish up here with the spray wax and this car is good to go. So before we hit the SDI with the spray wax, I'm sure you guys noticed this in the previous videos. We had this really awful PPF that was probably on the car since they sold it from the lot and we were working on taking that off right now. Uh, we actually were at the shop and peeled off the PPF and left a ton of residue that we weren't able to actually get off. Tim, do you want to say what we're actually using right here? Yeah, this is a, a pretty much huge eraser. <laughs> uh, it's called a 3M eraser. Okay. So like, uh, it's used to take pinstripes off cars, stuff like that. So we tried adhesive. We tried everything. We tried everything and we ended up getting this and it's working. So yeah, if you ever need to take one of these off, just take your time, do it slow. Don't get the paint too hot and it should just come right off. Sender, I mean, you got obviously see already. I mean, the PPF was like up to here and that's yeah. all gone now. So it is working. I think that we are done for the initial detail and the car looks phenomenal. The guys at Meguiar's absolutely crushed this. Like, I wish you guys could see a before and after right next to each other because this is like definitely not the same color white as it was when we first brought it in. It turned out amazing. It looks like, I'm very happy. Incredible. So I'm just doing a finishing touch back there, but we're gonna pull this thing out in the sun so we can get a real look at how awesome this white and this pearl is. Uh, now that it's fully detailed, you're good to go. It is absolutely beautiful. I hope you guys are stoked. I'll show you guys what the PPF turned into. It looks really good now. Completely went away. We still have a little bit down here, which we're going to clean up back at the shop. But uh, the main part was on the door, and that's completely gone now. And it looks so freaking good.
Can't even look at it. Oh, this is amazing. Look at that sound. That is absolutely amazing. You absolutely crushed that was it. Sick. Thank you so much. And the, the crazy thing is here, guys, this is just the start. We're like, we haven't even done the final stuff with all of like the actual prep work. It's gonna be so great when we bring it in here for yep. like the final detail. But I mean, the depth in the color that we got just from that initial detail, it is. It was awesome. a blast. It was yes. a blast. It's perfect. It's good. And now she's good to go, guys. Well guys, that is going to be the end of the video. We have finally made it home. I am currently editing this video as well as we're playing Halo Infinite. I actually got into the Halo technical preview flights, so I'm getting an early access to Halo Infinite. Let's just take a second here. Really appreciate, if you guys can hear it, the Halo music. Yeah, I'm multitasking here, playing games and editing, but really quick, it is one o'clock in the morning. We head out to Philly tomorrow. So if you guys are in Philadelphia, Tudor Evo is happening this Saturday. And if you wanna come see me in a bunch of awesome cars, now's the time to do it. Tudor Evo is amazing. We're gonna have a full booth, merchandise, awesome cars. It's, it's super sick. So if you guys are in the area, you should come by. But I'm gonna go ahead and end today's video here. Thank you guys so much for watching and huge thank you to McGuire's for actually helping us with the STI. This is just the beginning. We're gonna finish up the mods, bring it back. They're gonna do a final detail and it's gonna be sick. But like I said, we're gonna end today's video. I'm gonna, I'm gonna finish this up, play some Halo and get up in the morning and fly to Philly. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you haven't already, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel because it really does help me out. I'll see all of you guys in the next one, which by the way, will be the Grid Life series. Three videos coming soon. Don't worry, it's gonna be awesome. All right guys, see you in the next one. Peace out.